Now, the social factors that affect the density of population. In war-prone and unrest social areas, the density of population is low. If there is a particular country or there is a particular area where always the war-prone situation is created, at such place, the density of population is low. For example, in India, Jammu and Kashmir, any time the war attack takes place, so because of that, the population is very less in Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, the well-developed social areas and secured areas have high density population. So, wherever the area is good, like the area with good society fa facilities like better housing, better health facilities, better education are more populated. Okay, better transport facilities also contribute to the increase in the population of an region. Asia is highly dense because of its social and cultural factors. Now, the Asian countries are highly dense. Why? Because, now one by one examples are given, large size of families are seen more in the agricultural economy. As the agriculture is predominant occupation here, the people who are engaged in agriculture, they believe in large size of family. Illiteracy, child marriage, preference to male child result in high density of population. Wherever there is illiteracy, at that particular place, child marriage is also predominant. Okay, uh, the orthodox people, preference to the male child. So, urge to the male child is also the result of high density of population. Low standard of living, orthodox thinking also leads to the unrest of social environment. So, wherever the standard of living is also low, then uh, the people is of orthodox thinking, such region or such place also leads to the unrest social environment.